What's up fam? It's your boy, Darkstep here, and today we've got something very, very, very exciting. We are going to be starting our first Minecraft Let's Play walkthrough, and I am super excited about it. So, first thing you gotta do when you start a new world is you gotta chop yourself down some trees by hand. So we're gonna do just that. I have a lot of plans for this world. Um, I have a lot of firsts for this world. I have never beaten the Ender Dragon. I have never gotten a Lytra. So my goal for this series is to do both of those. And I couldn't be any more excited. Um, I want to do a town in this. That's kind of what my goal is. Um, it'll be kind of like a city, kind of like a town. It won't be super small and, and spread out like you would expect to see uh, a town. But it's not going to be as huge and sprawling uh, as what you would expect a city to be. So, that's kind of where we are with that. Uh, I'm going to do some of the early game grinds. And I will be right back after we've acquired some tools and done a little bit of animal hunting. Well, we literally just started right over here and I just came right over here after uh, getting a few animals. But I'm really thinking this is, could be a nice area to live. It's got tons of animals. Got a nice little area here where we could do like a river sort of thing for defense. Um, and it's got a lot of little variation in the height. So I think our first house is going to be right here. I, yeah, this is perfect because it's a nice large area. We can always make a bridge, you know, going over to the other side if we need a little bit more room or, or work something into the mountains over there. Yeah, I think this could work very well. So with that said, let's get our little base going here. So we need... Actually, I'm going to move that one down because I'm going to take off this top layer. Put that here. And we need ourselves a bed. So we'll do that real quick. Put that here. And let's just quickly make ourselves a spoon. Just to quickly get rid of this stuff here. And I'll be right back once we've uh, got a little area started here. Alright, this is what the inside of that big cave looks like. We're just right over there. That's our base. This is a big open cave area. And we could definitely do something with this. Like we could make this take out a layer or two down here and make this like a little enchanting area. I think that would be pretty cool. Uh, just kind of an idea I had. So let me know your thoughts on that. So I'm standing here at the base and I just look over and I see this over here. I'm going to go quickly check it out, see if there's anything good. Sometimes they have a nice little treasure chest there. So let's quickly run over here and see what we got. Hopefully we get a chest. That would be super. Uh, see a block of gold. Some magma. And apparently the texture pack I have on makes chests look like Christmas presents. Watch that. Well, it's a start. Alright, so... Found a zombie spawner. Definitely, definitely did. Gonna clear out a little bit of area here. All right, 
What is our loot? Nothing fantastic. Oh, got ourselves a spawner. So that's something. Very close to the base, too. See? There we are right there. And there that is right there. Well, that was certainly rude. Where did you even come from? Oh man. Oh well. Just glad I saw it in time and was able to uh, get myself just out of the blast zone there. Whew. Um, <laughs> I was just prepping uh, for giving a little update of what we've done so far. So I think I might as well share, there we go, uh, what we've done so far. Need some steak. Now, we have made ourselves a little farm here. Uh, nothing too crazy yet. Got some wheat here, is it done? It is done. Where's our seeds? There's the seeds. And this one too. And then replant, of course. And boop. We've got our potatoes. Pumpkin literally just spawned as I did that. That was crazy. Three, four, five. And we'll get our first pumpkin. Mmm. Don't like that. So we better grab our hoe. And go one, two, three, four. Now when they spawn, they will spawn over um, this way. Except for this one, which will probably still go this way. But yeah, I've got a little farm starting here. So we're going to have some renewable food. I have started working on clearing out this spawner here. But my pickaxe was just about to break. And then you saw the whole creeper fiasco. <laughs> So I've cleared it out four blocks this way, four this way, this way, and this way. And I believe the top might be good. I might have to go one more. Uh, but I've cleaned or cleared out two here. And I have two more down I have to go. And we'll give you another update once we have a bit more done. Alright, another update here. Um, so I got this finished uh, without the little exit hole for them to go and swoop up and you know go to our little chamber at the end but unfortunately I just realized I don't have any soul sand so I can't actually put them on an elevator to go up um, which means I won't really be able to do anything with fall damage so I think we're just going to kind of leave this project alone for now with that said though farm is starting to look a lot better going to do some more harvesting here. We're doing really good on pumpkins and potatoes uh, because we are maxed out on space for both of those. Uh, I want potatoes to be able to go down this middle line so that they kind of have three rows as well and pumpkins can have whatever it needs over here. So we have a little bit stockpiled here, nothing crazy, but it's at least something that we can keep ourselves going with. Also got a little bit of a sugar, uh, sugar cane field going here. Just going to keep this going along. Uh, do this here. And just kind of going to be one big rectangle with um, spots in between. A lot of them to get the kind of the most growth we can but for now this is kind of where we're just gonna have to leave it uh, for a bit just because we don't have any more so uh, next time I get a little bit more of an update I'll I'll let you know and uh, we'll see where we go from here we might do some exploration soon uh, since we've got a little bit of food going here and there's lots of animals in the land. 
Uh, might just kind of go off in this direction or this direction and just see if we can find a village or something else just to kind of bump up our numbers so if we do that uh, obviously I'll cut to when that's done this is a poorly loaded chunk right here <laughs> that is that is something let me tell you <laughs> Ooh, is this a gravel biome it is sweet Sweet berry bushes, yes. I know berry bushes suck, but I want to be able to do every kind of farm in this series, so I'm gonna need those berry bushes. Oh, jungle, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Bamboo. Just leave, just leave. Oh! That was so dangerous. So dangerous. We have finished our adventure, and this is what we got. Uh, we got three of the two tall uh, flowers. We got these so that. When we get some bone meal, uh, particularly a bone meal farm, we'll be able to get infinite dye for these colors. Kelp, uh, obviously it's great for furnaces and smelting and stuff like that. Lily pads, you never know when you just want a lily pad instead of like a slab or a stair where the water is. Bamboo, gonna be very useful. We're gonna plant this and we're gonna get a whole bunch of bamboo going so we can get some scaffolding. We also found some saplings, we found spruce saplings, we found jungle saplings, and we had birch, but I must have thrown those away, no big deal. We also got some vines, so we can uh, get that going. Found sweet berries, so we can plant those, get infinite food source. We have melon slices, so we can actually now start farming our own melons. We got cocoa beans, we've got fire charge, enchanted golden apple, very rare and some clay so all in all we've got a few more things but you know nothing really that big maybe an emerald um we've got some cool things out there we i don't know if i'm going to put it in the video or not but we were down to half a heart with like 15 drowns after us and we just made it out of there so very very lucky for that uh next thing we're going to do is we need to get some more food going so i'm probably going to set up a couple animal pens right over in this area or no that's a hole yeah i'll probably set them right over in this area here and that way we can get our leather farm going uh we can get some horses because there is a lot of terrain it's not just water all around us so that'll be cool uh sheep obviously for the wool and probably do chicken just so we can get some feathers uh for arrows and such and that's kind of where we are right now so we'll do a bit more progress and then we'll uh, keep you updated battle time crossbow crossbow charge
I can milk you. Make it the baby. Yeah. You guys good. Oh yeah. Perfect. Where's the baby? Well then. Don't mind if I do. coming all right so we've been very busy with this and looking pretty full now we did die I don't know if I'm gonna have that uh, on camera I don't know if it was being recorded or not but there was a few drowned and the boat got hit that we were in and then the trident boy just destroyed me so I uh, lost a bunch of stuff there but now we're starting on a house. It's our first house. Um, the outside's not finished. I'm gonna put something along the whole bottom here. Um, I haven't decided exactly what. It might do stairs or something. And put like some windows in here and stuff so it won't just be like a flat box like it is right now. On the inside, um, we're basically just taking out the flooring. And we're going to put in some spruce slabs just to kind of give it some color contrast and we'll be back when that's done. <sighs> this is not my day. Here I am, minding my own business, and a creeper shows up. Ay yay yay. At least I was at home, so I didn't really lose anything. But it's the principal. Look at this big hole now. Gotta fill this hole and everything. Well, well, well. Welcome back. We've done a little bit. This is what I've got so far. I do really like it from some angles, and then other angles... I don't know, I'm not 100%. But basically, we just put wooden stairs all the way around, um, oak wood. Then we have a layer of cobble going all the way around. On occasion, we do have these like support beam, I guess you could call them. And then a ring of cobblestone going around the entire top as well. Uh, we had two little raids come at us, so our banners now. <laughs> Uh, inside is a good start. This is where all the chests are going to be going. Um, in the end, I'll probably put like smokers here and blast furnaces here and maybe put some regular furnaces in the floor. I don't exactly know what I'm going to do yet with that, but uh, it's definitely a good little start to our house. Also, what has happened is bamboo has been put all around the house uh, for both form and function so it will provide a little bit of defense uh, as it can you know stop mobs from coming in but more importantly I just really like how it looks and I've never really used this in a build before I'm probably gonna get rid of that tree originally liked it but I don't think I do anymore um, yeah so that's kind of where we stand these trees out here aren't necessarily staying. I think this one and this one will, but these here I'm just getting more jungle uh, wood and, and saplings and stuff. And we're just going to keep, you know, getting the cows and the sheep going and collecting our food and wheat and stuff. Uh, I do have this all sorted, so this is basically oak wood, spruce, and jungle. And then this is everything that those make. Uh, and then I've got dirt, cobblestone. This one will probably be for just regular stone. And then this one may be smooth stone. And this is gonna be for like birch, um, acacia, and dark oak. And then we've got our food, which is filling up quite nicely. And our mob stuff, and that's our valuable chest right there. So I've been busy with the bamboo. <laughs> But yeah, this is what we've got so far, um, and if I get anything else, I will be right back. 
All right, looks like we're going to wind down the episode for today. Uh, all of our chests have reverted back as Christmas is now over. Uh, just do a quick walkthrough of what we accomplished today and kind of set us up maybe for next episode. So obviously we finished, um, well, three quarters of the house. We haven't done the roof yet. Uh, we haven't done anything like windows or any sort of other decorations. We got a good start on our storage system here. And the outside of the house looks just like the last cut. Haven't really done anything else. Uh, but we definitely have a good start to that. Now, we did get some cows going and we got some sheepies. We got sugarcane, sweet berry bushes, composter, um, potatoes, melons, pumpkins, and wheat. We did have a carrot, however, that was uh, when we died, we lost it. Uh, we also did find a spawner that we cleared a bit of room out for that. Uh, that'll continue more when we get some soul sand so that we can bring them up uh, after we bring them down to get them some more damage. Um, that's about it for today though. So if you really did enjoy this video, please hit that like button. And if you could do me a favor and comment what the favorite part of this episode was, and I can use that to continue to improve the experience for you. But that's all we've got time for today. Thank you very, very, very much for sticking around and I hope you enjoyed. Catch you in the next one.